So here's the subtraction one. And what I see a lot of, especially with, unfortunately, when I correct tests, is something like this. We've got 11 minus 3i minus 12 plus 13i, okay? This is a huge problem. I mean, it's not far off, but it's also extremely far off, okay? Yeah, I, maybe that was confusing. See, this, this isn't going to be a plus 13i anymore, right? All right, so let's look at this one. And we really don't need the parentheses for this first binomial pretty much in any situation, unless there were a negative in front of it. So I've got 11 minus 3i minus this other value. Um, some people would prefer to kind of stack these, right? So it'd be minus a 12 and then minus 13i like this. I don't know. Okay, well, let's proceed like this. So 11 minus 12 would be negative 1. And then I've got negative 3i minus 13i, which would be a negative 16i. So yeah, so since I'm subtracting that whole quantity, 12 plus 3i, I have to subtract the 12 and I have to subtract the 13i, which is why that becomes a negative 3i minus 13i. Some people don't like it because... It kind of doesn't fully address this minus right here. But it's not going to make a big difference if we take this as a negative 1 and then distribute it into the parentheses, which would make that a negative 12 minus 13i, right? You, you can distribute it if you want and then combine like terms, just like as if we were using an x, right? So that would be 11 minus 3i. But now it's minus 12 minus 13i, like this. So some people do prefer to see it like this. Once again, the 11 and the negative 12 will combine to make that negative 1. And then this negative 3i and this negative 13i will give us the negative 16i.